Hello everyone, I'm Jonathan. I'm Crystal. And this is Garbage Hard Haunt Review Series 2016 as we discuss the 13th Gate and Necropolis 13. Once again, reporting from Spartan HQ here. Walls waiting to be properly painted. I'm very excited for how this room's going to look. Yes. I know it's only been five minutes since the last time I said that. <laughs> but to these people, it's probably been at least a couple of days. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I don't these... know how close you're posting up together. I don't know. I am either. I haven't figured that out. But anyways, yes, we are back to review the 13th Gate of myself. Well, 13th Gate and Necropolis 13 Haunted mm. Houses in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Yes. Now, right off the bat, previous years we've taken a little bit of criticism here. Yes. Or a lot of bit of criticism. I'm not sure which. Yeah. Um, well, last year specifically. Last year, last year specifically. We got complaints about the review. Yes. Let's, um, let's address them real fast. Okay. People thought that we were going too easy on the 13th Gate because it wasn't a super scary haunt. Right. And that it wasn't really loaded with high-intensity scares. Right. And we, I thought we did acknowledge that. I'm trying to remember, really. I mean, I should yeah. have watched a review more recently. Probably. But, but the thing about it is this, and one thing I've always said is 13th Gate is the haunt I feel most at home in. Right. It is the haunted attraction I feel like I'm at home at. It's like... It's like returning, you know, to your family abode in a faraway land. It's returning to your home country in a way. Yeah. And I love it for its set design. I love it for its creativity. I love it for its attention to detail. And I love the fact that every year, up until this year, there's always been some really exciting new stuff. Right. I never felt like I got the same show twice at the 13th Gate. Yeah. And so those were the things that really got us excited about it. Not Because scares for us are great but it's also not always the most important thing. I admit right. that. Right. And it's it's difficult to scare us. Yeah, it is, it's very difficult to scare us. If a haunt does actually really and truly get us, yeah. it's, it's a pretty rare feat. I can only think of a few haunts that have actually done it. Yeah. And it's like I said, it's because we volunteer, build, <laughs> run, do right. haunts all the time. We're, we're doing a haunted podcast, every haunted attraction podcast. Yeah, we, we might can... have a little bit of an obsession on this topic. It's a little a bit. A little bit. So, yeah, on that note, though, 13th Gate this year, uh, this is a, another difficult review for me. It is going to be a difficult review um, because not a lot changed. Yeah. And I think that the reason that that is is that the last two years they've been very focused on getting their escape rooms up and running. And putting in the attention to detail that yeah. they put inside the haunt, yeah. inside their escape rooms. And everything I've heard, and mind you, we haven't done them since. We did one last year. We did right. a new one this year because of time and everything the else. The new one's the tomb if you're going to check out the new yeah. one. But everything I've heard about them is that they're excellent. Yes. So I'm eager to check out more. And like I said in the previous review, we're planning on an escape room run. It's on the list to do. Right. Stay tuned to this channel and this Facebook. Expect some escape room reviews coming soon. Yeah. That being said, it does mean the haunt and both haunts did not get a great deal of attention this year. Right. Because that's one of the things. Like with 13th Gate, every year I've had a moment where I walk into a room and I feel lost and like I'm in a place that's totally alien to me. Right. This is, I'm like, this is new. Yeah. This is totally new. I did not have that moment this year. Well, we kind of did. Kind of, but I because, don't Because we got to a point where. Our group got split up. Yes. Um, and the people with us were put into a room with the door closed. Mm -hmm. And we're like, oh, this is new. And we hear screams and stuff. And like, oh, maybe it's something really cool. Mm -hmm. Then we go through the door. Yeah. And it was a... Train, bus, I'm not sure what. Yeah, some kind of vehicle. Some kind of large vehicle. Um, 13th Gate really has this bizarre obsession with running you over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cause, okay, because think about it. Midnight Productions, the coming day. Remember, they also did Louisiana Nightmares and right. Alexandria. Have you ever been to one of their haunts other than Necropolis 13 when they did not pretend to run you over with something? No. They really do seem to have a thing for that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, they, and that's just it. Because they also have another segment at the very end where they pretend to run you over. Right. So it's a recurring theme. Right. And it, it, it didn't work. It, it, the gag just did not work for us. It was not up to the attention to detail. It was not. It felt out of place there, honestly. It, it felt like a last-minute rush. We've got to put something new here. Yeah. 
That's what it felt like. It also felt like they added in a bunch of claustrophobia tunnels. Which, to some credit, they seem to listen at least a little bit when we discussed from previous years. The, the year they did the claustrophobia tunnel that led you into the room with all the messed up stuff. Yeah. All the gore and all that. But that worked really well that year because you went through a pair of claustrophobia tunnels right before. Mm -hmm. And you were just expecting, oh, here's another one. And then it just like dumps you in it unexpectedly. It played right. with your expectations. This time around, it was pretty much dumping you straight into the room. Yeah. It, there was no expectation there at all. Right. Really, what was going on. And the room itself, well, okay. Once again, it felt a little bit rushed. Yeah. Because that's just yeah. it. The thing from the 13th Gate is we've really grown to expect and love the attention to detail. Right. The attention now, to detail and the unique use of props. Yes. Everything in the 13th Gate always looks so immaculate. Mm -hmm. And all the rooms that were there previously yeah. were amazing. They right. still are equally. If you haven't been to the 13th Gate, I'll drive you myself. Yeah. I will get you yeah, there. It's, it's I will mail you. <laughs> yeah. It, it's definitely, if you have never been... It, it's worth checking out. Definitely. Yeah, we're not saying that. Not saying that. Check it out. <laughs> Check it out. Please go. Like, it's still 90 but, plus percent of this haunt is yeah. unbelievably amazing. Every step of it. Yes. But, if you have been last year, mm -hmm. then check out one of their escape rooms. Yes. Still go, but do a different thing. Yeah, because it, it, yeah, it seemed like the haunt did not get the tender loving care it usually gets in the off season. Right. And Acropolis 13 fared even worse. Right. There was effectively. Well, go ahead. There was effectively nothing new there that I can recall. Um, there was a couple of new characters. Okay. Yeah, characters. Yeah. yeah. There were some actors there. Um, really new. there. Um, well, there was an extra coffin. Yes. Um. So there were there were a couple of little things. Yeah. But I think part of Necropolis's problem is that it is a built-in standing haunt, and it's going to be hard to change. I agree. It, it's going to be hard to do any major... It's not like the 13th Gate where you can take modular sections out and right. replace them. The haunt itself is kind of built as one unit from when you can see this as you go through it. Yeah. It's pretty obvious. I mean, most haunts use panel-based construction. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? I had no idea. Hmm. What's that? <clears throat> so, it's easier to swap out, but Necropolis 13 is not built that way. Right. And you're right, it does raise it. But also, um, the parkour guy we loved was not there on the night we went. He may be there this season. Yeah. I don't know, but he was not there that night. So that always is a little was a little bit sad for us. Yeah, he probably graduated. He probably is doing and is some... on to bigger and better things. At least that's what I hope. I hope so. If you're out there, parkour guy, I hope you're having fun. I hope you're doing something amazing and jumping off giant ledges at your leisure, <laughs> wherever you may be. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, Necropolis thirteen. Uh, Definitely felt very same to last year. Right. And the 13th Gate had, did, like I said, it had new portions, but it mm -hmm. didn't, it's, you could tell they were new because they felt so different from what was immediately before and after. It. Right. Now, I will say that the other thing I noticed was that some of the newer, and, and they were new last year too, but mm -hmm. some of the newer uh, animatronics mm -hmm. take a long time to activate. Yeah. You know, um... And it throws off the pacing of the haunt. Yeah. And I mean, speaking of pacing real fast, caveat, we forgot to mention when we were diving into this, we did go on the second night. Yeah. But I don't think we have a lot of pacing or timing criticisms to go or anything like that. No. It, I, I will say this. I'm very glad they removed that damn beehive. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Thank you. Goodbye, <laughs> beehive. Thank you. Bye-bye, beehive. May you rest yeah. in pieces. Literally. Or... or, or be in storage or something. I don't... Mm -hmm. it, it was a nice piece of construction. Be gone! But it, was, it, <laughs> it, it didn't do anything for me as a haunt. Yeah. But yeah, it, that, that's the weird thing, though. It's like the new stuff was just not up to the level of what they did previously. And it it, 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 it felt like the haunt was more disjuncted than previous years. Right. Like, I remember last year we showed up and like, oh, we didn't do much new this year, so yeah. you're going to be disappointed. And we get in there, that whole new cabin and the storm sequence, right. and the whole fantasy land with Maleficent, Jack and the Beanstalk, and all this crap. And I'm like, right. what the hell do you mean nothing new? Right. What do you mean? Yeah. Yeah, this year there actually was not significant new. Like I said, the haunt is still great. It is still amazing. I still love it. And I love what they did with the pumpkin area, especially. Yes. <laughs> because they, if, if you've been before, you know this. They have a pumpkin area. 
um, this year they actually have the pumpkins and anim- life animated, yeah. and it is awesome. Yes, I, I I really would love permission just to get a sleeping bag and go <laughs> and there, stay there, stay there for the <laughs> night once. I would totally dig that. Like I said, the haunt is so much fun. But if you went last year, I think you're right. Check out the escape rooms. Plan on making this a different visit because right. <clears throat> that's where the attention and the energy has been going. Yeah. So, and I can't say I blame them no, because that's no, no, no. year-round revenue. I, I can't blame know. them either, but it does come at a consequence. Yeah. And that consequence, unfortunately, is you know there's only so much time, only so much money, only so much resources. And, yeah, if you're going to d- throw everything you've got into the escape rooms, um, <laughs> it's going to mean the haunt side of things does suffer a little bit. That's not to say there isn't a possibility next year they couldn't come back and really wow us again. Right. And, in fact, I'm hoping that's exactly what happens. Yes. Because this is the first year we've been even remotely disappointed with 13th Gate. Yeah. So I'm, I'm seriously hoping that's what happens next year. Now, two words of warning about the front of house stuff. Yes. One, there is now a metal detector. Yes. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that. We're probably going to do a podcast about haunt security sometime soon on Haunt yep. Weekly. We'll probably Plan get into it more. They're better <laughs> bank on yeah. it. So once again, Haunt Weekly, check out the podcast. We'll, we'll be going into the escape room issue yeah, too. Exactly. Yeah. And the second thing is the VIP passes only skip the outside line and not the lobby lines. Right. And we know that even on this review from last yeah. year... Um, we did say that we missed going through yes. the lobby. <clears throat> yes. There is a point, though, where you've gone through the animatronics and you could be led into that, that first part. Yeah. Even, if you, even if there were signs saying VIP yeah. to show you where to go. <clears throat> and, you know, and, and, to make sure you're <clears throat> in the right place and they didn't just stick you with... And, uh, and I want to say completely and frankly, this is a no-win situation for right. Ron. Yeah. <laughs> I understand that. I understand I'm, I'm A, contradicting myself. Yes. And B, that I don't know what the right answer here is. Right. Because, yes, you have they have all this cool stuff in the lobby. They have all this great stuff there. And, yeah, it's a lot of fun to see and do, but it is also a lot of time spent in there. Right. Yeah, I can't imagine how, if we were on the time crunch that we were on this trip. Yeah. And there was a line... And the inside queue to the outside. Yeah. I can't imagine staying in that that no. whole time. No. And I'm wondering what the metal detection detector previously mentioned is going to go to do through their throughput. You know, I don't think it actually is impacting their throughput any. I think you can put more people through a metal detector than you can put through the elevators. Yeah, probably. I think that's the truth there. But at the same time, I worry because we, we, we had this issue with terror tests in years gone by right. where the security is so tight and so yeah. so pervasive that it feels like you're not being trusted and you feel unwelcome. Right. It um, feels like an airport. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it's not only that, but we actually saw someone pass a purse around the metal detector yeah and, which kind of defeats the purpose yeah and the purse wasn't checked no not at all so, so i i mean you know i i don't really know i don't have much i want to say about it here like i said we'll do a podcast on haunt security sometime soon because yeah. i think it's an important topic yeah but yeah i mean so just be mindful of those two things with the front of house side as for the haunt itself, if you haven't been, especially if you haven't been in like the last two years, right? go. Yes. Absolutely, positively, get your butt there, buy your tickets, right. have a good time, enjoy it. It's an amazing haunt. If you went last year, this might be a good year to try the escape rooms, as she yep. mentioned. I mean, I'm seriously eager to try them. Yeah. Again. I mean, we tried one last year. I want to try this tomb one. Yeah. I'm super stoked about it. And there's another one, too. Uh, Serial Killer's yeah, Lair or Serial something. Serial Killer's Lair, yeah, exactly. They've got these escape rooms. I'm, I'm eager to see them because I know they have the design skills, the expertise, and the build quality to make these great. Right. And like I said, we saw the uh, Death Row one. Right. And we saw how great that was. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. It was pretty awesome. So, Survivors. Yeah. Yes, we did. We made it. <laughs> Technically over time. <laughs> No. Well, remember the time penalties put us over an hour, but we still made it actually physically out of the room within the hour. Yes. But we we took time penalties because we used clues. Our group used clues. Yeah. I I choose to blame the other six people in the group other than us. Yes, the ones that we have do not know. And their numb way can come back and haunt us. (laughs) 
But yes, um, so I think that's a good way to think about it. Yeah. Anyways, um, any other thoughts on Thirteenth Gate? Anything that we missed? I don't think so. Yeah. All in all, it's still a great haunt. But if you went last year, oh, go mm-hmm. ahead. Uh, uh, no, I, I did remember that in addition to their regular merchandise, they are also selling local artists' posters oh, and yes. dolls. So that's also very cool, and you should support your local artists. Yeah, as you go through the lobby, it's the, the first part, not right. the actual hotel, yeah. the basement lobby yes. part. As you go through the very first part where you get your ticket scanned, look at the walls around you. It's the area before the ticket booth. Right. Look around you. some cool stuff on the walls. Check it out. It's for sale. It's for sale. It is for sale. So, yeah, give that a check. But, yeah, like you, like you were saying, if you went last year, make this a year to check out the escape rooms. Yep. Uh, mix it up a little bit, and we'll see what the 13th Gate does next year. But if you haven't been in the last two years, what the hell is wrong with you? What are you doing? I don't know. Anyways, on that note, everyone, I'm Jonathan. I'm Crystal. And this was Garbage Horror Haunt Review 2016 for the 13th Gate in Necropolis 13. We will see you guys next time.